Okay, layering vocals is something that requires a very specific skill level because if you do it incorrectly, your vocals will not shine in the mix in the way that you want them to. And today I wanna to open my session for my brand new single, This Party Sucks. I know, I know, well, listen to it first. And I wanna show you specifically how I did my vocal layers for the song because it has a few cool elements, well, maybe just one main one, and that's background vocals, gang vocals fake choir, whatever you want to call that. And the song is definitely a unique one for my catalog and I filmed this video a couple of weeks ago, well a few weeks ago, and I just want to open the session and show you what I did. So layers and choirs are something I am very passionate about and I feel like I've been looking for the perfect recipe, the perfect way to mix it, and I think I think I found it and I just wanted to share it. So what I did here is a little weird, but uh, let's let's listen first. So this is the last chorus of the song. And you can hear it. There's nobody I wanna see right now. Yeah. All I do is think Let me mute my lead vocals and all the ad libs so you can hear what the choir sounds like. The choir. And this part sounds cool. So I want to show you what I did, even though I did it in a weird way, I printed them. So I have these tracks right here, which I used to record, or not record, to place the stacks and build the stacks out. But uh, then I printed them from this one routing folder. I just printed this one whole thing. And then I went back and I recorded more and then I printed those as well and put them all together. And I did that because in my head, well, first of all, I get overwhelmed by a big number of tracks in the song, but in my head, right, I'm recording all of these people with one microphone. So this is what I would be getting in real life. So I recorded this crowd of people twice with one microphone. That's basically kind of how I went into it. So each individual track, doesn't have much at all. Obviously, I have my basic autotune. It's cranked up just a little higher on the retune speed just because for some of those takes, I was chanting. I was not really singing or on pitch, really, right? And I still wanted it to be sort of like a singing, even though people are chanting, but it's still singy anyway you, you know what I mean and then literally for each of them all I have is CLA vocals on the face-to-face -face dry setting that's all I got right and HMD Rosetta EQ big shout out anyway um all I'm doing here is just subtracting yeah I'm not doing anything crazy harshness because I don't want it to be crazy because I was recording into one microphone, obviously different levels and distances and different deliveries and flows. I was doing different voices and all of that, but I just, you know, trimmed some harshness, S's and T's, which it didn't do that for me necessarily, but it just gave it a different feel. Anyway, I tuck, muddy, all of that, and I just copy pasted it everywhere. So I have all of those. And then uh, in the routing folder, so the first thing I did in the routing folder, right? It was normal, it was normal. Actually, let me just, Grab one of these. This is the second layer because I am very irresponsible and I didn't keep, I was in the zone and I was so excited about doing this so I just deleted the first takes. <laughs> I'm dumb. But this, this is just the second go round. So it would be this printed uh, track right here. There's nobody here I wanna see right now. So if I turn all the effects off on my routing folder there's nobody here i want to see right now it sounds silly you see why right but it works together it works very well together if it was just a standalone background vocal or something it, i mean it's come on it sounds dumb so what i did first was this lo-fi plugin which comes stock with pro tools uh and very little not i mean it's nothing crazy there's nobody here i want to see right now barely doing anything really. After that, I'm using the R compressor to basically just squash 
the shit out of it. And I don't care. It's peaking right here. You can see. There's nobody here I want to see right now. Don't care. That's what I want. Messy and weird. After that, it's reverb time. There's nobody here I want to see right now. This is the best color. You can fight me on that. Uh, I'm just using a plate. Pretty short. I mean, almost two seconds. That, that's not that short. But And the mix knob is at 41.3%. So it's pretty heavy. Pretty heavy. There's nobody here I want to see right now. Right? Because I'm recording all of these people in a big room. Very big room. Like a church. <laughs> right? Something like that. So after that, uh, this is weird. This is really weird. And I feel like all the pros out there, if, if you even watch this, you're going to laugh at me right now. But that's what I wanted to do. So after that, I did another reverb. <laughs> But this reverb is different. I'm just putting myself in the room after the plate reverb. It's so weird, but it really worked. Trust me. There's nobody here I want to see right now. It just, I took this entire, once again, in my head, right? One microphone, a crowd of people, big building, right? Big, very big room, not treated. So basically with the slow-fi compressor and uh, the reverb, right? This is kind of how I'm, in my head, I'm getting the raw signal. And now we're starting the actual processing. So th this reverb right here, There's and this is just the drum air preset on here. There's nobody here. Let me turn it on and off. There's nobody here I wanna see right now. This is off, and now on. There's nobody here I wanna see right now. No now, would it be different if I changed the order of them? Probably not too much. But once again, I wanted something weird. Because again, the nature of the song, it's very, it's indie pop and I wanted the mix to be clean but dirty. You know what I mean? So I didn't really care too much about being perfect here. I just wanted it to be messy and weird. So after that, um, <laughs> again, I'm doing something really strange. There's nobody here I wanna see right now. Cutting out the lows from all the reverb, right? Uh, cutting out around, or I'm just carving, well, almost 4 dBs around uh, 300, right? Or almost 400, 378. Uh, 588, 1,000 for the lead vocal to shine a little more in that area because my lead vocal in the song is pretty low, right? And then scooping around almost 6,700 hertz. And then a de <laughs> Pretty heavy DSA. Here, right because that's what I wanted it to be. And then I'm just reusing my uh, aux for one eighth note delay. Uh, and then I print it and I did it twice. And this is what we're getting here. Oh, my bad. I didn't print it with reverbs. So I actually turned the reverbs off when I printed it. I kept the lo-fi, the compressor, EQ, and ds are on it. And I put reverbs on the individual channels for when uh, it was printed. Pretty much the same thing with the reverbs, right? Well, a little more aggressive, I guess. This body fucking sucks. So this is the first one. You can hear how messy it is. Really weird. Right? So the second take, same thing, just different, obviously different recordings. So this one is a little high heavy in terms of the stacks that I did. And the first one is a little, you know, low mid. Uh, and together, it comes together very nicely. It sounds really cool. And it just really complements the lead vocal. This body fucking sucks. Especially because it's so low, right? There's nobody I want to see right now. Yeah. All I do is think Let about me turn off the ad -libs. us. Yeah. I just want to know where you're going to be tonight. Be and it works with everything. Everything just works very well together here and it honestly sounds real it sounds real let me go back to the first chorus where i have those moments right here
but also the production is really helping me hide some of those imperfections and uh, you know definitely certain frequencies that give away that this is not real. I would say the the main thing here or the main things are definitely the lo-fi plugin. I mean, you can see I'm not doing a whole lot at all, very little, but it still made a difference. And then of course, squashing the hell out of it and carving out some space for the lead vocals to exist definitely made a difference because I sort of buried it in the mix but it still comes out because the lead vocal is so low. And this is what mixing is about to me, you know, just making it work for your song. It's not about being making it perfect, making it clean. It's all about just making it work and balancing everything together. Now, since we're talking about vocal layering, let me show you some other stuff that I have here. So uh, for the hook, for the lead vocal on the hook here on the chorus, right? There's nobody here I wanna see right now. I have two dubs, left, hard left and hard right. There's nobody here I wanna see right now. They're definitely adding some textures here, uh, but they are very dark. There's nobody here I wanna see right now. Yeah. Check this out. Borderline telephone effect. But it really works. There's nobody here I wanna see right now. This is with, and this is without. There's nobody here I wanna see right now. One more time. There's nobody here I wanna see right now. Makes a big difference. And then I have some harmonies, which I just reused the tracks for the crowd vocals here. I just turned the volume down. I can't deny. Mm. But same chain. Got your body on my mind. Mm. Face to face, what's on that deeper layer? Face to face, I want. And then I have a moment like this in the second verse as well. I don't give a shit about the way they play games in this town. I swear I feel the world can't save me. There's nowhere to go unless you tell me I'm the one that you are. And the last thing that I have here that I really want to show you is the second verse. So for the second verse, I wanted a different vibe, a slightly different vibe, because the song has this almost like alternative indie rock sort of feel to it, I wanted to take it a step further in the second verse. And I did something that I, I've i honestly never done before, which is lead vocal layering. So I just doubled my lead and I layered it together. Do you really wanna know one of the ways that you miss me? Uh... I pretend I'm having fun walking around with an empty cup. And I've been looking at the clock, it ain't going fast enough. Pretty weird, but pretty cool. And at the end, I have a completely dry vocal. There's nobody here I wanna see right now. But there's no layering here. So, this is it. So, this is how I layered all different types of vocals for my song. This party sucks. The song is available right now. It's out. So go stream it on whatever platform you like to stream music on. It's everywhere. Hopefully you learned something from this or maybe you just laughed at me the entire time because I do things in a weird way. But you know what? If it works, it works. I don't care. And I'm super happy with the way this mix came out. Honestly, this is exactly what I wanted to achieve with this mix when I was making the song, when I was writing and producing the song. The finished product is exactly what I had in mind. So whatever. Let me know what you want to see next and uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye.